Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today, with the third part of assembling Mole King's UCS sand crawler, model number 21009, and you see the piece count enormous. Over 13k on pieces, that's enormous. And it's motorized too. Okay. There are two links in the description. One goes to the shop where you can buy this, and the other goes to the original mocker, Cave God. I'm I believe most of you, they are really interested or deep into the LEGO Star Wars mock scene, know his name. He made this here, he made an enormous AT-80. I hope Mole King brings two. He hopes not. He left me a comment on one of the last videos. The cheap crap, don't buy it or something like that. And I have, I can understand him, that he's angry that Mole King did this here without his permission. But it's not cheap. First, it's the most expensive Mold King set ever and uh, when you want to buy this in Lego I did uh, I exported my Bricklink out of my Rebrickable uh, PDF and the, the parts list into Bricklink and here if I want to buy all the parts from Lego in new out of Germany I have to pay over two thousand six hundred dollars or two thousand three hundred euros and that's not worth it absolutely not it's a gigantic enormous cool set but it's definitely not worth it's still 12 kilogram of plastic that does nothing for you <laughs> it looks cool but it does nothing for you so overall not only lego is too expensive the whole crap is too expensive it's it's only bunch of plastic. Okay. Um, in the first two videos we came so far and assembled the four parts of the motorization. The whole piece here that in one of these, these are four track parts and uh, in between is uh, one of the motors. So we have four motors for driving and two for the electric, you know, I don't know the word, platform, <laughs> the entry platform, let's call it this way. Okay, pieces, awesome, molking, nearly, nearly Lego quality, no problems. Building techniques, awesome. This thing is so clever, so well designed, till what you see. I know that there are some mistakes and later on in the, perhaps in the last video, I don't know if we get so far in this part, but in the front here, this section and the other section and this here, they are not fitting really good together. There must be an, uh, a mistake in the instructions and it's in the original instructions from Cave God 2. They are not perfect, so he did an, an update. Uh, for his instructions because he recognized in the first it's not but Mole King copied the first one so yes okay so but just go and buy the original instruction because this here is awesome the work to okay he designed this digitally but then he bought all the pieces for a lot of money and he spent a hundreds of, uh, perhaps thousands of hours into building and constructing this here so give him the credit, I believe 50 or 60 dollars are the instructions. And Cave God, if you're looking, I admire your work and I bought the instructions, so don't be angry at me. Because I Mole King makes this affordable for a lot of people. So a lot more many, many people more can enjoy your work. See it from that way. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> or call me an asshole. I can't change your opinion. <clears throat> Okay, so enough of the talking, let's start assembling. So, uh, I'm not far, I'm not far, but it's working here. That's working, no problem. So, in a lot of forums I read, best is assemble the, fo uh, the, the fo uh, whole platform, the entry platform, and then bring it onto here, on the model. I believe that's not so good idea, but I can be wrong. So I decided, like in the instructions, build it so far. Now the rest 
of the platform will be se built separately and then clicked into it. But these pieces here, these are uh, slopes, and when I build them, like in the instructions, I can't close it because they are here is not enough space in between. So I only used one 1x3 one blade instead of two. And I used another brick here, because when you build it like in instructions, you're missing a brick. Well, I believe you're missing a brick, we will see. Okay, uh, so here, here you have to change. Right at the beginning of 17 you have to change. I don't know if the... Um, the mistake is in the cave god instructions too. I'm too lazy to get up to my computer and watch and search and I'm too lazy. So I and I want to, to show you what Molking did. So perhaps here is a mistake. For all the guys who already assembled this and watching the video, I know a lot of German do it. I don't know with my English videos, I don't get so many comments from you. I am wrong or is the instructions here wrong? So Building step 17 is done. That's the normal angle. And here, when I push further, ah, I have to adjust the camera. So. Even more, man. Okay, so sorry for that. So you see, it goes really. Uh, doesn't go further. Okay, the Java is Hevel. What is it? One, uh, the width of one finger of a big man. So the Java's have a little bit to jump. But I believe really this is minifig scale. This is really minifig scale, incredible. <laughs> I want to see the first ATAT mini scale. I believe Cave Gods is okay. Um, you've seen in the last take where I was, then you build the whole brown part here and click it in. But the thing is, there are 16 studs or something and it's a little bit wobbly. I don't get it in one piece to on, onto the rest. So I broke it in four parts. First the middle part, then the sides and then the, the nose here. And then it was easy. Then it was easy. Then you're building this gray blade here out of uh, black blades underneath and a lot of wedge blades and tiles and the grills or the modified blades here. I always say grills. Please American or uh, English native speaker don't be people don't be angry. And then you click it onto the studs uh, or the technic pins that are looking uh, out of the blade. And then we have it. And it really, he's really driving, I've seen it driving, not, not very fast, but it's working. So, nice. 18 is coming. So, 18 is done and brought us this big side panel here. Uh, the loading ramp and yes, here is this big side panel. And here are nice building techniques with jumper blades. So, you see we have a... Half brick. This is inside. This, okay, we have a, some of the panels here, but that's okay. We save weight. This thing is heavy enough for the motors. It drives, but uh, yes, uh, it's not the fastest body you can have. Okay, here with the Technic brick, it's nicely made and it connects them here with the slope and Yes, it's nicely made. Normal uh, um, modified brick with four studs inside and the headlight brick and yes, it looks cool. Nicely made. Okay, in the next shot I show you when it's assembled. Now well, this is what the panel looks when it's installed. Really nicely angled. Um, this is angled just this way. And it's standing only on on the six white brackets in there here. Uh, let me take this here. One, two, and three. And the brackets are or the, the pieces, the, the joints here. It's no brackets, it's joints. You see this here. And 
and they are four long and standing only on two on uh, on the plate. So it's a little bit flimsy for such a big construction, uh, but at the moment it is everything is all right. It it holds. <laughs> so 19 is done and brought us the second side panel. Yes, it's different. <coughs> Has the same shape, but you build a difference, so that's that's nice. And the back of our UCS sand crawler is done. Uh, some people asked me I should make a detailed uh, comparison between this here and the cave god version. I don't have the time for this. Sorry, sorry. Just look in the Eurobrix forum or uh, elsewhere. There are a lot of uh, internet pages that show you the difference. Most is color-wise. Inside the cave god version you have not white Technic bricks and some colors that are here. This tone is, I believe, a different one. Or is it that? I, be, I believe that tone is, is a different one in the cave god version. And, and little differences. In, mostly in color, not in, in the building technique. There they are, I believe, are nearly, nearly identical. So if you want the cave god version only, say I'm the total nerd, then I believe fifty, sixty dollar uh, more order on Bricklink for the other parts in the right color, and then you're done. And you need a lot of the tracks, because you see here we have gears and no tracks, so all the scrap metal can't go through on the transport band and can't be sorted. Poor, poor little little people here oh man okay the chavas let's go to 20. Oh, building step 21 completed here our side panel and it's it's a fun to build cool building techniques and yeah it's entertaining uh, the only thing i don't like is too much of i don't know what this color bright orange i don't know but it, for me it's too much in the upper third or the upper, you know what I mean, the last 25% of the panel and some here and some there would be looking better in my opinion. What I like very much is that I left out one row of blades here and around here and in between. So that's a nice and uh, gives the whole thing really some depth when you're looking at it. F mm -hmm. P T H so and the sec uh, these are two six by sixteen and a two by six and you bring on all the, the tiles and everything and then you click it on the technic pins that were there already. So okay. Uh, I believe when we connected it to the rest of the vehicle we will close here these five one by two holes. Okay. This is how the panel looks assembled. You see there it's connected to the frame and it stands here on the row of plates. So everything is fine. I believe in the beginning it will be connected to the pins but the pins only secure the distance so that you can't push it in there and bend the whole panel so nicely made <laughs> well thought and i was a little bit surprised but it's easy to assemble well this is the assembled side and this is the new one so these are two building steps together 22 and 23 and yes, they are a little bit different not in, in, in shape and <laughs> overall shape the same but uh, little differences so when you assemble the panel uh, now it's easy because I have access from that side to 
connect the panel with this Technic bars here. Now when I bring on the second panel I can't go this way, I have to go from upside down into the model and I hope I can connect the Technic bars with these here very good because it was really not easy to connect it when it was uh, more open so uh, uh, I'm looking forward I, oh sorry I show it the uh, next take if I were successful so this is a part of building step 24 and first you're building this here building walls accomplish it with blades and then all the detailing and it's it's interesting it looks funny it's detailed, makes a lot of fun to build. Nice. And in the next take I show you the rest of the things I assembled in the same building step. So disclaimer, shaky hand cam. Okay, here is the structure I built, assembled to the rest. Here we have tiles, so I believe it will be easy to detach the, the next cover here, so I can get easy access to the motors and the battery box. This here is new and accomplish uh, all the power section I believe is it. Oh, I believe I forgot here. To, oh, I forgot here something. I assembled this here, these two structures, little one and this here. Uh, a little bit more light. I know my building videos are not so bright, but uh, yes, it's my dining room. <laughs> so the video is finished here. Thank you for watching. Turn in for part four when I finish this here. Two, two and a half weeks. And then the final video, the review, uh, when I hope it's driving. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm Frank, the Brick Freak. Have a good time. Bye-bye.